Welcome to Edisto Beach Environmental Learning Center. Today we have with us Ranger Andrea, and she's going to talk to us a little about a horseshoe crab commonly found on the beach today. Hi guys. Oftentimes people will find horseshoe crabs on our beaches and they're scared of them. They're actually very gentle animals. I have one in the touch tank and I'm going to bring it out and we can talk about it. Now, as you can see, it gets its name, the horseshoe crab, because it has a horseshoe-shaped shell. It has this hard helmet on the top to help protect it. And oftentimes, people are scared of it because it has this long, pointed tail or telson. If you flip it over, you'll see that it has its soft body parts on the underside. At this point, it would be vulnerable to predators, so it uses its tail as a lever. It will push the tail into the sand to help it flip over, and that way it's protected uh, from its potential predators. Now, this animal is very important to us. It's actually used for biomedical research, and the reason is because it has a copper-based blood, which actually is blue. Its uh, blood is used to test intravenous drip medications, and the way it works is uh, the blood is added to the medication. If the medication has bacteria in it, it will clot, and then uh, researchers know that it will, will not be safe to use. So it's very important that we have these animals. We want to do our best to help protect them. If you ever find a horseshoe crab on the beach and you think you'd like to help it out and put it back in the water, we just ask that you pick it up by the side of its shells, bring it back to the water, you don't want to ever pick it up by its tail, and that's because you may actually rip this uh, little piece of tissue and it may harm the animal. Uh, these guys uh, actually have ten eyes. On the front here they have compound eyes that kind of work like the eyes of a bee or a fly. They see a lot of little images. Right here in the front of the shell they have simple eyes that are very similar to our eyes. And then underneath the shell, they actually have microscopic eyes that are more like eye spots. They see the differences between light and dark. Now, it has its uh, gills right here. They're called book gills. In the middle of its body is its mouth with hairbrush-like bristles. And it actually has 12 claws. This is what differentiates it from a regular crab. And that's because it has these two extra little claws here called chelicerae that just help it to eat. So this makes it a little more closely related to animals like spiders and ticks. So I hope you enjoyed your lesson with the horseshoe crab and come visit us at Edisto Beach State Park. Thanks, Ranger and Andrea. We appreciate you giving us that informative lesson. Come out to Edisto Beach State Park and have a good time. <laughs>